Things are back on track between Mabopane and Pretoria, Kotswane. The resumption comes after months of inconvenience for communities while there was no service. ENC's reporter Pule Lichwiti Jones is in Mabopane. He spoke to some commuters. The train has started moving once again, but while that's the case, we do understand the transport minister is expected to make his arrival in Wednesday to try and assess the progression that has taken place this far around. As it is right now, these trains are moving from Pretoria Station to Mopani Station across other stations, which include the Pretoria North Station and Mount View Station. Just um, behind me are some of the um, you know, people who are sanitizing to ensure that it is health, it is quite safe to be inside, and of course, the commuters' health conditions are not in jeopardy. Rag, how are you? How do you feel about the train now moving? Yeah, I feel good, I feel good, because now we can commute to town simply with the cheapest amount of money. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm what, happy that... Were that you badly impacted when uh, the trains were moving, especially during COVID? Yeah, I was badly impacted, because I couldn't go to town. At like it cost a lot, sixty rand, like return. So I had to. I'm late work right now, and bro, it's tough, man. <laughs> it's tough, bro. Okay, no, let I'm me. Not... Okay. Yeah. No, you can continue. No, I was saying let me not get in your way because the train is about to move, and I don't want you to miss it as well. Because I know you said you've been late. Thank it's you very right, much. Yeah. Have a good day, bro. Okay, same to you. Those are one of the commuters who are going inside the train, saying they're not quite happy with the arrival of the train as it got here very late. But of course, while frustrations continue to build up from commuters, some are still happy that the train has, of course, started arriving, and this is a a cheaper mode of public transport that allows them to actually um, go to work. And as it, as it is right now, while there's still frustrations as to other stations being affected, such as um, you know, railways still not operating properly, and of course, tracks having been vandalized, the minister will still have a lot to uh, account to when he arrives here at Mopani Station on Wednesday. And hopefully, commuters can get some of the answers that they've been asking for for a while. Pule Lichuti Jones there in Pretoria. Now, the Transport Minister Figile Mbalula visited train stations in the mother city earlier today. He's committed to a lot including 7 billion rand that will be invested on improving trains and that Cape Town Central Line will be fully operational by the end of July this year. Now that Central Line serves the largest portion of Cape Town's population and it has not been fully operational after it was closed in 2019. ENC reporter Nobisu Tuhechana has been following the story for us. She's joining us now live from our studios in Cape Town this afternoon. Nobisu, good afternoon. Well, the rail, passenger rail agency Prasa in Cape Town says it's working around the clock to restore train services. And we saw the minister today earlier and Prasa board members visiting stations that were vandalized and have since been refurbished. So how are they planning to revitalize the services in, in Cape Town? Cape Town while the central line remains closed. Well, Braden, the minister says is quite happy with the work that uh, they are doing in ensuring that uh, they are fixing and upgrading most of the stations that have been previously vandalized in Cape Town. In fact, we visited two of the five that are expected to reopen in the first week of March. And the minister says uh, the new board is doing its work and he's quite happy with the work. But we know that the central line has been a problem for the past two years and the minister and the board, they're saying that uh, they've actually identified two sites where uh, the relocation processes will begin, uh, hopefully by end of July, as they say. But they're saying that uh, the work will continue, and as they want uh, commuters to be back on the trains, they've also uh, adding about four train blue trains to the current 12 that are currently operating. They're saying that that will sort of like ease the pressure on the lines that have been impacted, which is uh, the northern line. And But they're saying that the southern line has been fairly good, but the concerns are the Athlone and the Maitland stations that have been very or extremely um, uh, vandalized by people but this is what uh, the minister had to say about some of the work that they've been able to do in Cape Town. Dennis Davis and the colleagues here this morning uh, are in good operating condition requiring minor maintenance work as you will have seen this morning. However there are two stations of great concern 
that will be upgraded as part of the National uh, Station Improvement Program and are both in the Cape Flats. These are Athlon and Maitland stations. The vast majority of stations on the Northern Line, where we come from before we arrived here, which is Tigerberg and the other area we went to, are in a fair condition, and this corridor had been a focus of Praza Station Improvement Program. So, Nobe Sutu, what security plans have been put in place to ensure safety, especially to safeguard these refurbished train stations? Well, last year, Pradhan, you will remember, Prasa did hire quite a lot of number of uh, community members in a project called Peoples to Protect, where they were saying that uh, they wanted to hire people from those communities to ensure that they safeguard what is essentially theirs. So uh, the Prasa chairperson, Mr. Lena Ramatlakan, is saying that they will also be working with police to ensure that those who are safeguarding the Prasa infrastructure, uh, they are protected also because some of the concerns from those people working there was that they're 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 not armed so when criminals come to vandalize they also feel unsafe so they would run so the chairperson saying that uh, they are working with police and other stakeholders to ensure that people are safe and people are doing their work but this is what he had to say the security plan so we have the security plan as prasa which include all the other forces, the police, in the form of the uh, railway police, they are part of it. The security, the 3,100 uh, 3, is the security that was employed by Prasa earlier. So all of that, on one component, component is community's participation. You know that uh, we launched the PR2P uh, in the Western Cape, which is a community-driven program. And that program, I think uh, earlier on we talked about being audited to audit to see that everything has gone well with that kind of program so that the auditor general does not find fault with it so that is the integrated plan the chair of the board of prasa ending that report by nobesutu hejana